The reason we're having swabbing parties is because um, it's doing a genetic analysis for a gene called the APOE gene, which is a, the gene we know most about for Alzheimer's risk. You can carry zero, one, or two copies of something called the APOE4 gene, which puts you at a higher risk for Alzheimer's. And finding out whether you carry zero, one, or two copies involves doing just a cheek swab so we can analyze saliva and it will tell you something about your risk for Alzheimer's disease in the future. There are clinical trials available, studies available, where you can enroll and you would be randomized to either a drug or a placebo, and the drugs are aimed at preventing Alzheimer's disease in people who don't yet have any symptoms but may be at higher risk because of their genetic status. We're really excited about this particular trial because I think it's gonna transform uh, the field of Alzheimer's research. The reason it will be transformative is we're giving people the opportunity to find out more about their risk and actually take an active role in fighting Alzheimer's disease. So we're encouraging people to get involved and uh, fortunately we have a way to tell more about risk and we have options for trying to lower risk for people that carry one or two copies of this risk gene. Alzheimer's is really, in my view, our major public health problem because it impacts so many people. It's predicted that there'll be 125 million people worldwide with dementia by 2050. That's just a staggering number of people. And the cost of care is uh, very burdensome. Uh, and so we have to figure out a way to lower the risk and prevent Alzheimer's if possible. We're very excited that we've opened the era of Alzheimer's prevention. In terms of the military comparison, um, one of the, uh, in World War II, in 1939, when uh, Germany invaded Poland, we had only 197,000 men under arms, and they were given rifles from the early 1900s, and we were ill-prepared. But by 1944, we had 8 million people, 8 million men under arms, and we were fighting a fully equipped war on three continents. So we scaled up to meet that uh, demand, that crisis, and we need to do the same thing with Alzheimer's. You're encouraging people to come forward here to build this sort of volunteer army, as it were. Absolutely. Um, we've used the term citizen science or citizen army before. So we have something called the Alzheimer's Prevention Registry here at Butler. And you can sign up online at butler.org slash memory. And you can sign up for our registry where it's just a database of people who are interested in being part of the citizen army and participating in research. And as a part of that registry, we offer this cheek swab test for free. We're also doing swabbing events in the community where people can come out and, and be together and learn more information about newest advances in Alzheimer's research and do a cheek swab as well. We're looking for people who are 55 to 78, who everybody has some cognitive complaint, but who test normally on a cognitive measure and uh, who may be uh, at risk for Alzheimer's, who can find out more about their risk. If they sign up for the registry, there's no obligation, but they can find out what research uh, options are available. Confidentiality and, and privacy are essential, and unfortunately, there still is a lot of stigma related to Alzheimer's disease and dementias. Um, we protect everyone's confidentiality who participates in the registry. Um, none of their information is given out to anyone, and nothing becomes part of their electronic medical record. So it's a separate research database that is in-house here in our program in Butler. It doesn't go to life insurance, to health insurance? Nothing no. is billed through insurance. Nothing uh, is disclosed to insurance companies.